Thanks, Webb, and Old Man's Garage for coming out to Swainsboro Raceway. I'm Sean Wombles, the track announcer here, and I got my good friend, Mr. Paul Purvis, who is the track owner. And, Paul, we got a big show planned this weekend. We got the World of Outlaws in town. I tell you, it's an awesome show. I tell you, I've seen some of the best racing tonight that I've seen here in a long time. Uh, of course, every time the Outlaws come to town, it's a show. Uh, I can't say enough about them guys. They're professionals, and you can tell it when they hit the track. One of the most important things that I've seen, this is for, for what we've been here 47 years now. You've owned the track for at least 10 years now, going on 11 years, and this is our first super late model event that the weather hadn't threatened us. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, it's awesome. Uh, tomorrow is Mother's Day, but we still hadn't held the fans back to really come out and support this show, and uh, I tell you, they're getting their money's worth tonight. We've already seen three wide racing, and, and I've talked with the folks earlier tonight. You special ordered a tiller just for this particular race so we could get this track prepped and get it ready to go in a timely manner. And, and the track crew's done great tonight. Oh, these guys, they, they worked their heart out, Sean. And uh, we already have one tiller, and it does a great job. This second tiller just allows us to do it a little bit quicker and uh, makes a super race uh, track for these guys to get on and put the horsepower down to the ground. It takes a track to hold up under these guys. Exactly right. I, we've already seen three wide racing and four wide racing, which a lot of people said we wouldn't see at our racetrack. A couple years ago, you hauled in some clay here, coming from up around Jefferson County. Yeah, we brought in about 450 loads of new clay, and I tell you, it's really, really tacky. And, and these cars, like I said, they got 800 horsepower. They weigh about 2,300 pounds. And I mean, it takes a, a good clay to hold moisture so they can get grip, not burn the tires off these cars, and be able to race side by side. And uh, I tell you, it's, it's something. I, I really appreciate Daryl sending uh, Webb down to do a, a good job for us and help us out. And uh, just thanks to everybody that's worked hard to put this program together. It's been a great show. Fans are getting their money's worth. Exactly right. And I tell you what, this is one of our biggest shows of the year, but we got one coming up Thanksgiving. We got that great late model event paying 20000 to win Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, we started that last year. And, uh, I tell you, I think it's really going to grow. It, it was good. It was real good last year. It was beyond my expectations last year of what we accomplished at our first unsanctioned event. Uh, but, you know, we got a group of guys at this speedway. I'll put them upside NASCAR. I meant my announcer, my flagman, uh, our track safety workers, our junior announcers, uh, you know, all the way from top to bottom. Uh, you know, that's what makes our track flow so good is, is good help. You surround yourself with good help. I heard Rick Hendricks say that, and uh, and I believe it. I mean, I really believe that, and that's what I try to do. I try to get the best people I can get. We got scores, I meant concession workers, everybody anywhere at Swainsboro Raceway, you're always welcome when you come here. And I, I hear this time and time again from racers and uh, fans, you know, they feel welcome when they come to Swainsboro Raceway, and that's what we promote. I tell you what, a lot of good things happening at Swainsboro Raceway. We appreciate Old Man Garage. Y'all come out to see us Thanksgiving weekend.